Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a 20 minute yoga flow for you for full body flexibility. We're going to get started in a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Hands rest comfortably on your lap. Sit up tall. Soften your shoulders down your back and then close your eyes when you're ready. Begin to deepen your breath. And we're going to take about four to five slow, deep breaths here. Coming into the present moment, focus on where you are right now on your mat, ready to practice, ready to take care of your body, your mind, and your soul. One more deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands into prayer and heart center. Let your head rest down. Open up your eyes with a few blinks and then look forwards. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, place your right hand down. Reach the left arm up and over. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Open up throughout the right side of the body. Inhale, come back to center. I'm just going to turn to face the side for a moment so you can see better what I'm doing. Walk the hands behind you. Walk your feet onto the outside edges of your mat. Let the knees fall over towards the left and then towards the right, doing some windshield wipers, warming up the lower body, the hips and lower back. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring the left foot onto the inside of the right leg, onto the inside of that right thigh. Flex the right toes up. Place your right hand onto your left knee. Left hand behind you, lengthen and twist. Look past your left shoulder. Sit up tall, breathe into your back. Now come back to center. Bring your right hand onto the inside of the right foot or outside. Left arm reaches up and over, taking a side stretch. Open up throughout the left side of your body. And remember to soften your shoulders down your back. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to place the left hand behind the left hip. Lift the hips up, send them forwards. We're going to reach that right arm up and back, half wild thing. Open the heart, breathe into the stretch. Slowly begin to lower the hips back down. Bring that right leg in a little closer and then you're going to take a forward fold over that right leg. So flex the toes up, go where you can. The hands can be framing the thigh, calf, or foot, depending on your flexibility. Try not to round the back here. We want to keep the spine long and remember to soften the shoulders down. Slowly begin to walk yourself up and now we're going to do the other side. So bend the right knee in, left leg goes out. Let's place the right hand behind you, left hand onto the right knee, lengthen and twist, look past the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Left hand onto the inside or outside of that left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. Open up throughout the right side of your body. Inhale, 
Inhale, slowly lift. We're gonna place the right hand behind the right hip. Lift the hips up, send them forwards, reach that left arm up and back. You can look down or up, whatever feels best on your neck. The more you send the hips forwards, the deeper the stretch. And then slowly begin to lower down. We're gonna keep that right knee bent in, bring that left leg in a little closer, and then fold over that left leg. Keep the foot flexed up, soften the shoulders down the back, breathing into the stretch. Slowly begin to walk yourself up. Walk the hands behind you, feet back onto the outside edges of the mat, and once again, just do a few rounds of windshield wipers, letting the knees fall from side to side. Now we're gonna send our legs off to the side. Make your way up onto your hands and knees in a tabletop position. Taking a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, arch the back, look forwards, open the chest. Exhale, round the back, send the shoulders up, head rest down. Inhale, cow pose, arch. Exhale, cat pose, round, warming up the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Moving with the breath. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Reach the right arm up, open up throughout the right side. And then we're gonna thread the right arm under the left. Bring the right side of your head down, and then you can extend that left arm forwards if you'd like. Lifting the hips up, leaning back into your right shoulder. Walk the left hand in. Inhale, reach the right arm up, open up. Exhale, place the right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread the left arm under the right. Left shoulder and left side of your head down. Then you can extend that right arm forwards, leaning back into your left side. Walk your right hand in. Inhale, reach the left arm up, open up. Exhale, place your left hand down, come back to table. Now, we're gonna turn the fingertips to face the outside edges of the mat. And then you can just lean towards the left side and then over towards the right side, getting into our wrists. And then turn the fingertips back to face forwards. You're gonna come up onto the fingertips and then lower the palms back down. Two more times. Strengthening the fingertips and hands. And then we're gonna curl the toes under and begin to sit back onto your heels. Now you can keep the hands down to the mat or place the hands onto the thighs. Here we are stretching out our feet our toes, our ankles, even the quads and shins a bit. 
We're gonna hold here for a little while longer. Notice how this feels. As you hold it longer, it may get a bit more intense and that's okay. Breathing into the body. Okay, let's place the palms back down to the mat. Uncurl the toes and gently tap the tops of the feet down to the mat. And then we're gonna recurl the toes, lift the knees. Send your hips back for a downward dog. You can walk it out here, extending one leg straight at a time or bending one knee at a time. You can come high up onto the toes and lower the heels down. Just doing anything that feels good here. You can sway the hips from side to side. Now look towards the hands, bend the knees. You can step or hop towards the top of your mat. Inhale up halfway, hands on your shins. Exhale, fold over the legs. You can bend the knees as much as you need. Inhale, we're gonna come all the way up. Open up, reach up. Exhale, hands in prayer, soften your shoulders down your back. Inhale, reach the arms up, open up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Bend the knees, plant the palms down, step or hop back into your high plank. Lower the knees down if needed. Exhale, chaturanga, bend your elbows, lean forwards. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, send the hips up and back. Bend the knees, look towards the hands, step or hop forwards. Inhale up halfway, hands on your shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, reach the arms up, open up. Exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step or hop back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows, lean forwards. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Again, look towards the hands, bend the knees, step or hop forwards. Inhale, up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, let's reach the arms up, open up. Exhale, hands in prayer, soften your shoulders down your back. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the heart, send the hips forwards a little bit more. Exhale, fold over your legs. Bend the knees, step or hop back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, control, bend. Inhale, upward dog, open the chest. Exhale, downward dog, send your hips back. Bend your knees, step or hop forwards into Malasana, your yogi squat. So sink your hips down and then bring the hands into prayer and heart center if you can. If not, you can just keep the hands down to the mat. Bring the hands down, turn your heels in line with the toes facing forwards, take a fold over the legs. You can catch on to opposite elbows, let yourself dangle. You can keep the knees bent or straight, whatever feels best at the backs of the legs. And then we'll bring the arms down and slowly ragdoll your body up. Head is the last thing to come up. Good. We're going to heel toe the feet together. Hands come into prayer in heart center. Let's bend the left knee in, point the toes. We're gonna step that left foot back into warrior one on the right side. So that back heel is grounded down, square off your hips towards the front, and then reach the arms up. Soften your shoulders down your back. Breathe into the stretch. 
Keep sinking down into that front knee. Keep the core engaged. Humble warrior, reach your arms back. Interlace the hands behind you. We're gonna roll the shoulder blades together and then fold over. Pull the hands away from the back. Go where you can. Head can rest down if it feels good. And then you're gonna lift up halfway. Place the hands down, framing the right foot. Lower the left knee down for your low lunge on the right side. So uncurl the back toes. From low lunge, you're gonna transition into a half split. So walk the hands back and flex the toes up and then come back into your low lunge. So you can go at your own pace here. You can hold the poses for a little longer or you can move quicker. Listen to your body. Stretching out that right leg and right hip. Even gently stretching out the back here. We're going to hold that half split. So keep the right leg straight with the right, right foot flexed up. And just fold over that leg. Soften the shoulders down. And then we're just going to keep the left palm grounded. Right hand is going to come on to the low back on the right side. Pointing that right elbow up. Or reach the right arm up. Remember to keep the hips square and open up throughout the right side. Now, place that right hand down. Bend back into your right knee. Walk the hands forwards. And place the hands up onto the right thigh. See if you can lift the chest, open the heart, and look up. Low lunge. And then plant the palms down. We're going to step your left foot forwards into a fold. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. Open the heart. Exhale, hands in prayer. Soften your shoulders down your back. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Hands in prayer. Ground the left foot down. Bring your right knee into your chest. Keep your balance. And then step that right foot back for warrior one on the left side. Bend that front knee. Inhale, arms reach up. Hips are square. Soften the shoulders down your back. Good. We're going to come into Humble Warrior next. So for Humble Warrior, you're reaching the arms back. Interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Bring your left shoulder onto the inside of the left knee, wherever you can go. In this pose, we are stretching out the legs and hips, but also the shoulders and back. One more slow, deep breath here. Begin to lift up halfway, release the hands, plant the palms down. We're going to lower that right knee down, coming into a low lunge on that left side. And then again, just transitioning from your low lunge into your half split. Go at your own pace. You can go slower. You can go faster. Breathe into the stretch and notice how it feels on this side. If it feels a little tighter than the first side we did, or maybe it's a little bit more warm and open. Not judging the body, just being aware of it. We are then going to hold that half split. So keep your left leg straight. Flex the left toes up. Inhale, lengthen the spine as you fold over that left leg, getting into your hamstring, into the back of that leg, the glute. And then plant the right palm down. Left hand can come onto the lower back or it can reach straight up. Hip stay square. And then left hand down, begin to bend back into that left knee. Hands up onto the thigh for a moment. Inhale, lift the chest, sink down into the hips, open the heart. And then we're placing the palms down to the mat. Curl the right toes under, step forwards into a forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, hands on your shins. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms down, step or hop back, high plank, exhale, chaturanga, bend your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. 
Okay, we're beginning to finish off, so you can lower the knees down, widen them nice and wide, uncurl the toes, sit back onto the heels, walk the arms forward, taking a child's pose. You can bring the forehead down, relax the shoulders, and begin to deepen the breath, connect with it, letting go of your thoughts, and just taking a moment to be grateful for your body and all it can do for you. It works so hard every single day to keep you alive and do the things that you love. So just take a moment to appreciate it and thank it. Slowly begin to walk the hands under the shoulders. Lift your upper body. Take your time. Keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands into prayer and heart center. Thank you so much for trusting me with your practice. Namaste. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day.